Hello everyone, this is Lindsay from Winding Road Crochet and today I'm going to be showing you how to make my first triangle shawl. So let's jump on in and look at the materials we are going to be needing. You will need one to two skeins of yarn of your choice, the recommended crochet hook by that yarn, a yarn needle to weave in your ends, and a pair of scissors. For the shawl you see here, I used one skein of Red Hearts It's a Wrap yarn and a size G crochet hook. For today's example, I will be using a size H crochet hook and the Marley Bird Chic Sheep yarn in the colorway poolside. First, let's look at the graph for our foundation chain and our first row. Here is our foundation chain. You will start where the triangle is, work four chains, and then slip stitch to the first chain to create a ring. Now let's add the graph of our first row. In our first row, we will chain three and then place three double crochets into the ring we created with our foundation chain. Then we will chain two and do an additional three double crochet into the ring created by our foundation chain. Let's go ahead and grab our hooks. To get started, we'll go ahead and make a slip knot. Wrap your yarn around your fingers twice. Move the loop closest to your thumb to the point in between your two fingers. Move the next loop under both of your fingers. And then pull that loop tight. And that will create a slip knot. Insert your hook and we can begin our foundation chain. We will chain four. One, two, three, four. And then slip stitch to the first chain made to create a ring. Now we will chain three and begin our first row. Working into the center of the ring we just made, we are going to make three double crochet. You will yarn over, pull up a loop through the ring we created, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over, and pull through the next two loops to create a double crochet. Now we'll go ahead and make two more double crochet into this ring. There's our second double crochet. Here is our third double crochet. Now we are going to go ahead and chain two. One and two. And we'll work an additional three double crochet into the other side of the chain ring we made. So we're going to make one more double crochet yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops, yarn over and make our second double crochet, and then we'll go ahead and make our third double crochet to complete this row. Now I'll set this down and we're going to take a look at the graph for our second row. Here you can see the graph for our first row and now we're adding the graph for our second row. We are going to chain three and do three double crochet in the first stitch of row one. Then we're going to do a double crochet in each stitch until we reach the chain two space. In the chain two space, we are going to double crochet, chain two, and do another double crochet into that chain space. We will double crochet into every stitch along the other side. In the last stitch, we'll do three double crochet. Let's go ahead and start our second row. We're going to chain three. One, two, three. Work three double crochet into our first stitch. Looking right here. Go ahead and do our first double crochet. Our second double crochet into the same stitch and our third double crochet into the same stitch. 
We're going to work one double crochet into the next two stitches until we reach that chain two space. One more double crochet into this stitch. And then working into the chain two space, we're going to do a double crochet, a chain two, and another double crochet all in that chain two space. So we'll do a double crochet, chain one, chain two, another double crochet into the chain two space. Now we will go ahead and double crochet in the next few stitches until we reach the last stitch. So double crochet into this first stitch here. Go ahead and get my yarn out of my way. Double crochet into the next stitch. Now we are at our last stitch, so we will do an additional three double crochet into this last stitch. Here's the first double crochet our second double crochet and our third double crochet. Now I'll go ahead and set this down again and we'll review what we're going to do for our third row. For the third row we're going to repeat exactly what we did for the second row. We will do three double crochet into the first stitch one double crochet into every stitch until we reach our chain two space, a double crochet, chain two, and double crochet into the chain two space, double crochet into each stitch along the other side until we reach the last stitch, and then do three double crochet into the very last stitch. We'll start the third row. We're going to do three chains and turn. We'll work three double crochet into that first stitch, one double crochet, second double crochet, and our third double crochet. We'll do a double crochet in each stitch until we reach the chain two space. In every row, this section will get just a few stitches wider, but will always remain one stitch in every stitch until we reach the chain two space. When we reach the chain two space, we will double crochet, chain two, and double crochet into that chain two space. Chain two double crochet and then working down the other side we'll place one double crochet into each stitch except the last stitch in the first and last stitch of every row you will always do the three double crochet in order to get your increase and keep that a relatively straight edge on the long side and then your double crochet chain two double crochet into that chain two space will help give you your point in the center. So we've reached our last stitch and we're going to go ahead and do our three double crochet. One, two, three. Now our fourth row is going to be exactly like our third row. We are going to do three double crochet into that first stitch, one double crochet into each stitch until we reach the chain two space. In the chain two space, we will do a double crochet, chain two, double crochet. Then we will double crochet in each stitch along the other side except the last stitch, and the last stitch we'll do our three double crochet again. I'm going to go ahead and work on row four while I let you know how you're going to finish up this pattern. You'll continue working each row exactly the same until it, the pattern is as big as you'd like it to be. The thicker the yarn, 
the less rows you're going to need to use. For the finished saw you saw at the beginning of this video, I did a total of 47 rows and then stopped, woven my ends, locked the piece by getting it wet, wringing it out, and then laying it flat in the shape that I wanted and letting it dry that way. And then I added tassels to finish my piece. And you can do the exact same thing with your shawl and it will be all complete and ready to use. So please let me know how you like the pattern in the comments below. Like the video if you did like how I explained this pattern. Subscribe if you'd like to see more patterns like this one and more videos. And make sure you check out my blog at windingroadcrochet.com for more free patterns. Until next time, happy crocheting!